Hi people, so this vlog will be basically my everyday type of weekend as well as a wedding dress shopping and just a little chaotic life that you're gonna get uh, like a little sneak peek on. I hope you enjoy! I always think that it's important to make your bed in the morning. I feel like that's how your day should start with a clean bedroom um, and then it's always nice to basically come back to the bedroom after work or after you know a day full of activities with a cleaned up nicely made bed so that's what I try to do all the time and I suggest you do so as well time to walk bonbons so we like to go outside this is our highlight of the day because we're always stuck in the apartment so this is super nice because we get to look at different doggies that like to play with us but we don't like to play with them we get quite aggressive and we like the little grass action Ooh, we did our thing now we're on the way back to our apartment to do important things for the day wait one more stop sniff 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 okay we're done now as you can tell she looks a little bit rough and trust me she is a little bit stinky as well so we're about to get her ready for an appointment she's going to have an ultrasound to see if she has any babies in her so now this is the part that she hates the most it's a little bath time but she will love it afterwards she'll be all fluffy smelling good beautiful and she'll be feeling herself too because she walks around now all proud and like she, she thinks that she's pretty she doesn't want to talk to me because she doesn't like baths <laughs> look at her now we just have to dry off and then we'll be all good okay so this is the real me right after the shower I'm about to get ready and then I will see you then. Hi, we're back. Both of us are clean, <laughs> cleaned up. Now we're about to go and have an ultrasound on Bonnie because we might be pregnant. Very, very much might be pregnant. Are we pregnant? She looks suspicious. Yes, she is. So we're gonna confirm that with the ultrasound. We're on our way to ultrasound. She's nervous, but we're on our way. Um, and uh, yes, we're very nervous. We're very excited. Everybody wants to know how is she? Is she actually pregnant? So I will keep you posted. So life update. I just dropped off my baby. Okay, so we have our Bonnie here. She's not pregnant. I repeat, she's not pregnant. Well, at least the doctor said that most likely she's not. It's still not confirmed because they could be super, super tiny. Too tiny for, for the ultrasound to even catch them. We shall see. Uh, they told us that we could possibly come back in like two weeks. We'll, we'll find out maybe, possibly. Okay, so I was a little bit all over the place while I was in the car right after the the doctor's appointment she is most likely not pregnant so we'll see even the doctor he was like you know i have no idea we're gonna have to check either again or she's just not pregnant we're gonna make some matcha and then i will go shopping and the reason why i'm shopping is a wedding dress on the budget she lied because that was not on a budget she had hope but she failed some still wonder what happened to this hopeful girl hello okay so now i'm about to make myself some matcha tea because i haven't been drinking coffee in like thirty thousand years probably like a solid two months now i have like a whole ritual of how i make my matcha i have my matcha this is a ceremonial grade matcha organic ceremonial grade is like better quality than culinary i put like two scoops three scoops on like a tiny cup because it has a distinct taste i have honey and i put one scoop of honey now what i do is i i warm up almond milk i also in order to mix up the matcha powder i usually use this thing but it's not really it's not really doing what i actually wanted to so one time i decided to experiment and i took out my mixer <laughs> And honestly, that's what I've been using ever since because it blends it so well. So yeah, that's what I use. So don't judge me. This is my favorite mug in the entire world. Say hello, owl. Hello, owl.
Now I have the perfect matcha. Okay, so I'm ready to eat, but fun fact about me is I love to eat from bowls and spoons. Like even stuff that you're supposed to eat with like knife and fork. I eat with spoon and in a bowl, no matter what. So I got my matcha tea, matcha latte. Looks pretty good. And then my eggs in a bowl with a whole bunch of hot. Okay, so I just set up this tripod thingy in my car for the camera. Girl, it was a struggle. Let's continue on our journey of vlogging. We will be going to try to find the dress. All right, so we set up. Where are we going? We are going to the outlet. Woo -woo. So hopefully we'll be able to find me a good dress that I'll be happy with. I'm not looking for something super, super crazy, expensive or fancy. She lied again. It turned out to be a very fancy dress and over the top, but you know, I guess I was trying to... I don't know what I was trying to do, but this girl lied. Lied to herself, lied to her viewers, lied to everyone around her. Anyway, so hopefully I'll be able to find a dress because everybody who I'm going to be working with, like the photographer and whatnot, they all ask for pictures and I don't have pictures. So that's a little struggle, but we are about to fix it. So life update, tried to go to the mall, didn't work, it sucked. I did meet my friend, not met, but she messaged me on Instagram. So she was looking for a dress as well for her wedding. It's a proof that the mall sucked because she couldn't find anything either. Now I'm driving from close to downtown Chicago and now I'm going to Wisconsin to a mall. So that's fun. So wish me luck. I will check in with you in a little bit. So I declare myself as being a terrible vlogger. It sucked. <laughs> because so much happened and I didn't record anything so just a little recap so whatever you saw last afterwards I went to two more stores I was disappointed I was upset and then while being on the way back home I booked myself an appointment to David's bridal and yeah so it was the next day here's my outfit I actually ended up going over there and I looked at many dresses and then I kind of did a little research beforehand. I went on their online website and then I already had my eye on one dress. After trying on a whole bunch, it turned out that it's the one for me. <laughs> so I got that. I got my thingy that goes on top of the head. Fluffy veil, I think it's called. Hold on. As I was getting up to handle Bonnie's business, I guess here's my outfit of the day. Basically, I ended up picking that dress and then I had the veil thing. So now all I need to do is... Oh, I also got a COVID mask that kind of matches my dress. And then uh, I also have to get high heels. But yeah, so here's that. Here's my update. I will most likely post some pictures of me in dresses that I didn't end up picking. Just for the hell of it. Why not? The one that I did pick, I guess you're gonna have to see it whenever I talk about my wedding. So, and then maybe I'll record something else. I'll see you guys sometime. Okay, so now I realized that I don't have anything. Well, I have a, actually a lot of things to film, but just by the thoughts of how this vlog turned out, I think this is going to be it. <laughs> I appreciate you guys looking at this mess and appreciating this. Um, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.